Hello YouTube, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for your continued support. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Today we're going to be replacing the 40mm fan on this networking switch. This is a Netgear ProSafe 24 port gigabit switch. I opened this switch up and um, took a look at the fan. It was making some bad noise, so did a little testing. So what you'll need today is, obviously we've got the bad switch, the replacement fan, Noctua NFA 4x20. This is the five volt version. I'll show you what I did for testing with my multimeter. Um, it helps to have a drill, uh, electric screwdriver. I've already gone ahead and removed the rack ears and the screws as well as the seven screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll be able to open it up. And once we're inside, you can see it's attached with the power outlet in the back. And you can see on this side here, closest to me, the fan and the port for it. And as a reminder, safety precaution, anytime you're plugging live electricity, energizing, uh, just be super careful, all the power supply stuff right here. Um, I've got it set into a surge protector so I can just kill it, turn it on and off with the switch because this switch does not have a <laughs> power switch, just regular AC power. The other thing is, do you even really need a fan? If you're not moving a lot of data, if it's just sitting there, I mean, passive cooling is probably fine, but I wanted to replace it just for due diligence. So to just get a little testing out of the way first, I've powered on the switch and we're gonna check for five volts on the power pins to make sure that there isn't an issue with the power getting to the fan and just confirm that it is actually the fan. Okay, look for negative, positive, ground positive. And yep, looks like we're reading five volts on the power pins for the fan. So we know it's not an issue with the circuitry or power delivery, it's gotta be the fan. And now to hear what it's like, I'm gonna plug the bad fan in. Well, <laughs> you can't even, there it goes. Yeah, it took a second to spin up. Now you can hear it. It's pretty loud. It's not really running very fast. All right, let's pull it. Okay, so let's get the old fan out of there. <laughs> All right, let's open up the new fan. And one thing we wanna make sure is the orientation is correct. So in the stock configuration, mounted like this, let's see, it's extracting heat. So we wanna match up these arrows. Oh yeah, you can just match up the, um, it's like the label here. So good news with this fan, we actually don't need the little adapter kit that it comes with. Even though this is three pin, we can just plug this in to the two other pins and it'll get five volts, work no problem. So to show that, I'm gonna plug it in, power it on. So here we have the fan header from the Noctua fan. You can see the yellow and red wires and then we're gonna connect those holes up to the two pin fan header. Boom, nice. <laughs> okay, so we've just turned this on. And you can see it's running, but you can't really hear that it's running. <laughs> okay, so now that we know that it's working, let's mount this up with the hardware, plug it in, we'll close it up. Pretty much that's it. Okay, we've got it screwed in. Let's close it back up. And so that's it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and share a comment below. What's your next project? What are you working on? Have you done something like this before? Look forward to seeing what you have to say. Again, I'm Andrew. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.